I really enjoyed trying all those things. You know, like I would have like on my desk, at, you know, I would have like a lineup of all these USB sticks and with like, like, a, like I would write the name of each one of these distros, you know, and be like, this is Arco, this, <laughs> this is Linux, Vid, this is, uh, you know, and so on. And I would just like have, and then just put them in the right like, Don't you spot wish that the- Ventoy was around back then? Oh my God, that would have been fantastic. But I had like, you know, like I said, a half dozen to a dozen uh, USB sticks all the time trying different uh, dis- different distros mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at uh, at any time because you know I think we're all kind of like we come to this point where we're tinkering mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. we want to say all right well what's the best you know it's like if I'm going to make this transition what's going to be the best thing for me mm-hmm. you know so you might as well try like Arch and I mean I've never really done like something like gen 2 or anything like that but it's, well, what, you know, uh, what hardware to. do you have uh well i have a well i'm looking at a dell 5050 over here and a dell 7050 over there uh-huh um but <laughs> i was telling one of the users recently i was like i've got a i've got a um thread ripper in the other room that i don't even use because <laughs> it's just like i know i know i feel like somebody needs to Somebody needs to have a talk with me about that. But um, I know it's like a $2,000 thing. That's not just sitting there and like collecting dust right now. But um, yeah, I'm actually, I was talking to somebody on discord about that and he's like, you suck. And uh, (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, yeah, you're right. That's bad. I'm going to go pull that in here and, and start, you know, put something on there just to get it, you know, just to get started. Even if it's something like, um a home lab because i you know i know that a lot of people that are doing videos that kind of like me are using virtual machines and i'm not Mm -hmm. everything i do is on hardware uh so when i like when i look at a testing machine like you know i wipe that one testing machine it seems like every other day because i'm trying something completely new um well i think doing it on hardware in unless you're doing really good pass through VMs is the better way to do it. Cause there are mm. some, there's some, uh, desktops that don't behave correctly inside of a virtual machine. So it's, yeah, it's, it's probably best to do it on hardware if you can. And you have that dual cap, just the dual PC set up anyway. So it works just yeah. fine for you. I need to do that myself at some point. I've, I've said, I'm going to do it for so long and just haven't. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so like you said before, I don't do, I don't capture my vi- face ever in any video I've ever done. I've never done a, like one where I'm a talking head. Um, but I use a, um, what is this thing called? An Elgato HD60S Plus. Yes, yes, yes. And I, the output from that test machine goes to, a USB that goes into my recording machine, which is what I'm using right now, my basically my production machine. Mm-hmm. And then and then I have one microphone that plugs in to that recording machine, and that's it. And um, I think you know, we were talking about this before. I don't I don't use Caden Live. I just record a segment, mm-hmm. you know, I like a minute and a half. 30 seconds who I don't, and I just re I rename it one dot MKV and then two dot MKV. And then <laughs> I know. All right. So, and then I use something called MKV merge. Uh huh. I say MKV merge dash O output dot MKV. And then I say one plus two plus three plus four. And that's how I build the video. Uh, so I like the video that I did for some of these um, window managers are 20 segments long Mm -hmm. so i just string them all together and merge them and that's it so you don't that's that that's the extent of my editing (laughs) so if you trip up on something do you just re-record that entire like minute segment or what do you do yeah a lot of times i mean i usually know where i'm going if i stumble it's usually in the first five seconds it's like uh you know so i'm like oh forget that i'll just uh, you know i'll start again and so I will, but there have been times, yes, where I have said something really, really stupid 
in 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 the sixth segment Mm -hmm. and i'm at 20 already and so i have to redo the entire thing in order for it to make cohesive sense um you know i said something really dumb i'm not even going to go with that but but Mm -hmm. basically i i had to re-record a big a big chunk of one video but that's that's okay. I mean, like I said, it's one of those things where if I had to use Caden live, I've tried, I'm just not good at it. And so I just choose not to use it. I'll just go ahead and spend a little bit more time in recording what I think. And, and again, I make mistakes, but I don't really edit out the mistakes, you know, where like, uh, or, you know, or something silly, like, a you know, like a kind of a awkward pause. Right. I'll just leave it in, you know, I don't really care that much. <laughs> I'm not that worried that someone's it's like, Oh, am I going to get a, am I going to get fewer view, views because of it? I don't care. <laughs> I just don't. Look, if I'm being honest with Caden live, I do pretty much the same thing anyway, but I do like to cut out the just pauses that don't need to be there. I used no, to be fair. a lot more aggressive with the cutting and would cut out like when I take a breath and I found that just, it made the video way too quick and just, it felt really weird. Now, mm. if I'm trying to like think of what I'm going to say, if sometimes I'll leave it in just because it is, it works as like a joke or it works as some sort of like connecting bit there. But when I'm genuinely like, I don't know what I'm going to say next. I will sometimes either just stop the recording there or just take a, a moment to like think about what I'm going to say and then just cut that bit out. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't, I don't really, um, I don't really feel like I want to learn how to do it. Uh, you know, as far as Kaden live is concerned, I just, you know, what I'm doing is fine for me. And if mm-hmm. that's, that's fine, you know, that's, that, that's just, that's just my process. <laughs> With your videos, do you tend to, take notes for them do you script them how do you handle it i used to do more scripting but i felt like it didn't i don't think it translated well i i just think that i was able to when i try to script something out it just made it seem robotic almost so i try to be more like fluid Mm -hmm. about what i'm talking about like i'm talking to you right now you know i'm like i'm talking to the microphone like yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm going to I'm going to edit this stupid file and this, this 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 and then I'm able to just like feel okay about that because if I if I tried to if I tried to script it, I just I don't think that it would feel as fluid. Mm. So, no, I don't. Uh, I don't I don't I I think I tried that once or twice and it just I didn't like the result. Right. You know. Do you tend to take notes to make sure you're hitting on like the main points though? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes in particular, if I'm doing something more technical that I want to remember how to like, okay, so I want to make sure that I am not steering somebody in the wrong direction right, right. for, um, you know, when it comes right down to an installation of Debian, um, when we're doing ButterFS, because out of the box, ButterFS on Debian, we all know this, is not, not very easy to do Mm -hmm. you know you have to stop the installation you have to put you have to go into fs tab and make all these modifications during the installation process it's not like other you know it's not like other distros that do it right out of the box like fedora does or you know so um yeah i want to make sure that i am looking at notes when i do that Mm -hmm. um for the most part i think i could do it blindfold at this point but um but just for my own like (laughs) sanity i don't want to skip something and then have to go back and go oh man i messed up that i messed that part up but you know but i also but i also have been trying to like i said before i'm trying trying to document more things too uh so i've been learning how to make markdown look really nice (laughs) you know so that i can like document and put pictures in and, and so on and so forth. That way, um, that way, cause I know one guy said to me very recently said, um, Hey, you know, that video you did for, uh, for, uh, installing Qtile on Debian, 
you should put a show note in. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, okay, let me try that. So that was the first time I've actually done show notes before on a video. Mm -hmm. And I put it like a, a link in my, um, in the description for that so that people could kind of like follow along. Um, oh, okay. Are you look? I don't know if you're looking. Yeah, at yeah, it I'm looking at not. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it basically talks about you know the you know setting up virtual environment and stuff like that, and and then installing it from the Git. Um, anyway, that was I thought that was a really, not a really really good idea, and I'll try to do that more of that maybe in the future. But it does take a little bit of time to to you know to put a, a document like that on on GitHub, mm -hmm. especially. If, Especially, but but I think it also would help other people. That's that was really the the purpose for that. 